Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Antagonist Kim, and we are finally here to play Dredge. Super excited about it. Um, been looking forward to it since before it was going to come out. It looks interesting, and... I mean, who doesn't love a fishing game, obviously, but with a little bit of um, horror aspects to it. Um, I will say, before we begin... Um, thank you so much for staying with me for Contraband, as well as us playing through Hogwarts Legacy and Final Fantasy VII. Really enjoyed doing that. And I'm glad to start the adventure with this one, so let's get going. Okay. The morning light fills your eyes, and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a ship nearby. A man notices you. The mayor. Welcome to Great Morrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah, well. I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to the one to one of our older vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. Okay. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Hmm. Finally, I suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep an eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Okay, Greater Morrow. Let's undock. Okay. So we got a little bit of fish right here. Okay, let's start. Okay. Nice. Blue mackerel. Is there a way to... Oh, rotate. Yeah. Oh. Aha. Okay. Nice. Getting low. Depleted. Okay. I'm not really sure how I'm going to order these fish yet. Okay. Um, let's see this. Okay. Fish. Weird, different shaped fish. Okay. Uh, it's for three, so let's maybe move one of these. Okay. Nice. Okay. And depleted. And let's keep going. Hmm. Uh, I guess over there. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, rotate your camera or adjust the height. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm not sure which is really better. I kind of like to be able to see ahead of me, so I'll just do that. Okay, still kind of the same guys. This way. One more. And boom, okay. We have to exit out of there. We can't fit anymore. Um, let's get back to the dock, I guess. Looks like way bigger fish there. It's already 6 p.m. Holy cow. Select your lights by holding E. Oh. Do I even have a light? Hold on. Select your lights by holding E, then toggle them with the... Ah, haha, we got a light, you guys. Aw, oh, yeah. Actually, before we go, what other stuff did we have? Let's see. Did I shut the light out? Nope, it's on. You got some kind of glowing thing up there going on. Don't know how sensitive this is to, uh... Ooh. Nice, okay. You step onto the dock of Greater Morrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off the town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm sure... Wait. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel, yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So to recap, you'll need to sell fish at the local market, paying off your debt, and in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Uh, selling fish helps the town and pays off my debt. Got it. Okay. Off you go then. Sell those fish while you're still fre while they're still fresh. Okay. So let's see the bow. Pursuit updated. Ship loan. $50 remaining. Fishmonger. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man before the counter. Oh. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. Oh, well, what happened to the other one? He... It takes a certain type of person to last out there. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for the fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are worth more, too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different, but while you still got a debt outstanding here, I suggest you work on paying that off first, okay? So let's see what you've got. Um, we have... I mean, really, we're just, it won't sell the engines, I hope. I think it's just fish. So is there a way to sell all fish? Oh, sell all fish. F. Let's go for it. Boom, baby. Minus $22 for the debt. Okay. And... What else? Storage. Okay. I'm not sure if there's a way to... Uh... Okay. The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here. I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? Research parts, okay. One last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. 
You should pay her a visit. Okay. Shipwright. Okay. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. Ah. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is upright, is up front, and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take any damage from the rocks, or any damage at all, I can patch it up, mostly. She shrugs and gestures toward the hole she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, all are splintered and scratched. Take a look around, just remember. The bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. Okay. Um, well, we have $128. So we have some kind of improved fishing line. What do we have right now? Coastal fishing. Okay. Shallow fishing. Also shallow fishing. Um... And we don't have a shallow fishing rod yet, but do we want to wait and get the bigger one? I guess that takes up more space. Okay, what else is there? Old rusty engine won't get this far with this. Okay. Got a light. Cracked bulb. Cloudy lens. Okay. Anything else? Oh, okay. Hmm. Obviously, I don't have the 150, but I guess for the sake of having one, we could just buy it. Okay. I guess that's it. I don't know how to, uh... Oh, enter repair mode. I don't think we have anything to repair, though. Okay, so we don't have anything, so I guess let's exit. Ship loan remaining. Okay. Um. Tab. So I'll show us what's in our cargo. Cabin. Pursuits. Meet the fishmonger. Okay. Messages. We don't have any. Map. Holy cow. Okay. Greater Morrow, Twisted Strand, Devil's Spine, Gale Cliffs, Stellar Basin. Okay. Nice. Blue Mackerel and a Cod. Aberrations. Okay. Huh. Okay the gist of that. Exit, go back. Um, I mean, they're saying we shouldn't travel at night, so we probably, for the first one, let's sleep. Okay. Ooh. Let's go out and fish, you guys. Let's try different spots. So what are these? They definitely look like fatter fish. Although, wait, what was that? Can I go close to that? A floating buoy, it serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. Okay. Its dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. Okay. Let's keep it going. Let's try these. Ooh. Okay, let's try it. Gulf flounder. And they are gigantic. Okay. I need to stop by early to uh, drop the stuff off. 
depleted. Okay. Uh, how do I exit again? I think it's... Oh, no. There we go, it's X. Sorry about that. Um, I feel like we fished there the other day. What about these? Can I get these? I don't even know if those will fit. They look like some kind of eels or something. Let's try it. Um, medium? Mm, I might be able to fit one. So, I guess... Oh! Three, okay. Yeah, I can only fit one. Any tiny, tiny fish? Maybe these? Or are these the same ones from before? They look new, so let's try it. No. I mean, I can still fit them, but... Okay. Let's sell what we've... Oh! Let's go grab it! A message in a bottle. A uh, cabin? Morning of the second day of the honeymoon. And our first day proper. Today, we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of Greater... Sorry. Oh, I didn't know I could expand that. Greater Morrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night, Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you wait it you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean's Riches was a good name. I think he was has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the ba basket half hidden, stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. Aww. Okay. Encyclopedia. We got eels. And I think the other one was a coastal. Let's see. Ah, flounder. Cool. Okay. And sit out of that. This is nice. There's like a whole bunch of stuff we'll have to look at. For sure. Looks like a uh, octopus or something or squid. My bad. Don't know what the eyeball is yet, so let's uh Fishmonger. I've had a special order come through from a customer. If you can fill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. Yeah. Mm. They asked for one golf flounder and one great eel. Oh, that's so happen to have that. Uh, just bring them in when you have them. Sweet. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water. Fish in order to catch those. I bought so I'm ahead. The shipwright should be able to sort that out for you. Have you got any fish? Yes. Oh man, one, oh, an eel, nice, $55, oh. I've got another order here, this one's a little more curious, they want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper, okay, don't see many people fishing squid these days, they only feed at night, okay, and well, you know what nights are like around here, good luck. If you're hunting for specific species, check your encyclopedia. It could have the information you need. Awesome. Okay. Um, let's sell the rest of our fish. Okay. And I think that's it. Um, uh, do we dare? There was some squid right there. Ooh. 
Ooh, it's really dark. What was the other one? Black... Oh. Exposure to the fog and other things increases your panic. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. Okay, so we should probably not be out here without a big light. Which we did get some money, so maybe we, uh... Ooh. Oh boy. I don't know what that was. Any other fish I can get? What are these? Oh, maybe more squid? Eh, why not? Might as well get some extra money, right? Even though it's really late. <laughs> Trophy car. Aw, oh, yeah, baby. Oh, it's 1 a.m. Holy cow. Let's get back. And son of a bitch. Hole damaged. Awesome. Well, that rock was definitely not there before, so that's always fun. Any more random rocks just gonna appear? Jeez, bro. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks with you looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? Um I come here to fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Huh, okay. Yes, I do. Got that one, and this one, so then I just need the black grouper. You can return to these items later, okay. Um, how do I... Let's sell the rest of these. Gotta repair that, which sucks. Okay, I have $12 remaining. Hmm. Oh my, you look exhausted. You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? I'm about to. As I always say, taking frequent breaks is an important part of being productive. Yes, yeah, so we'll sleep real quick. Okay, let's go to the shipwright. Your boat's looking a bit damp banged up. I can repair that for you if you'd like. Yes. Um, please repair all. Okay. Um, do we want to try to do a light? We do have some money now. Or even an engine. Another engine. Hundred dollars. A light. I have like no money left, but it was needed. Four dollars left for the ship. Um, Mayor, what's up? Just the person I was hoping to see. Uh, will you be sailing out east towards Little Morrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Sure. Yes, I will. The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. Fun. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Got it. Okay. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Let's go over there, then. It's raining... We'll do some fishing on the way back. Let's see if we can... Well, yeah, let's do that on the way back. I think this is uh, the little village she wants me to go to. Hmm, 
What? A delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Yeah, nice and fresh. That, that'll this will do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. Hands you some monies. Twenty-five dollars. Mm. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You are surely got more out of it. Sustainable fishing, okay. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. Okay. Trader? You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques, the shelves full of jewelry, and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello, is that... No, ah, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets that you might happen upon. Have you got anything nice for me with you today, perhaps? Uh, I do not. Okay. Let's ship off, then. Um, what are these? Can I get these? Ooh, I could. Let's try it. He is gigantic. I think I'm only going to do one of these. Because what was it that I needed? I needed a... Um, black grouper, right? Can I do these? You don't have the right equipment. Okay, so some kind of uh, material, maybe building stuff. Let's see what else we got. What are these, and can I fish them? Sure. Oh, it's just mackerel still. Okay. Not really an easy way to do this. to say I was hoping it would stop because I need to uh, have space for my other fish. So let's see what this is. Um, those are the same guys as before. I think. Yeah, they are. Um, let's see if we can find the other grouper, though. What are these? Uh... No. That looks like debris, so I don't think I can get that. This looks like, I don't know what this is, shark or something? I'll do a little double check. Oh god, it's getting dark. No, I can't do that right now. We got our little halogen light, so hopefully we don't run into any more freaking rocks. I need to get another engine. It's shining over The lighthouse towers above, waves crashing endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the intrinsic power of this structure, a vast column of stone, shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin? Its purpose exhausted. The lighthouse towers above. Okay. Um... A little tight in here. It's 10 p.m. Let's get home. Ok. 
Okay. Sell our fish. Keep an eye out for larger fish. They'll need more... Wait, they'll feed more mouse so I can pay you more for them, okay? Yeah, sell all the fish. Okay. Sweet. The mayor's walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news. Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Morrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. He might have something to talk to you about soon, okay? Keep up the good work. We're glad we've chosen you to hear, be here with us. Dry dock. Ah. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. Sweet. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior hulls. We'll need a decent stock, a decent stock of hard materials for these projects, lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. How do I get the materials? Huh. There's plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored, so don't worry if you only have half of what you need. Okay. Oh, sweet. So a lot of this stuff... We need parts for. Okay. Um, I don't think my ship needs repair. No, it does not. The skies were lit up with a weird crimson glow the other night. Did you see it? Um, I did not. I wonder what I do with this. Okay. Well, let's get out of here and let's sleep, I guess. Okay, and with that being said, you guys, um, I'm going to end the episode for now so it doesn't get too long. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.